have now is a very small brush. It's almost like a liner brush. It's very, very small. And then I'm going to put small little lines. Just, just little things. Just dragging your brush real thin. About right here, I'm just going to Put little things in like this, just what I do is I just start putting the white in and then just keep going over it. And what that does is it pulls that brown and those other colors what I have underneath. What I did on this side is I took some more yellow, mixed it with a little bit of white, I just went up here and just started mixing it with the blue, just little strokes like this. And what that'll do is, if you look at your picture, you can see little green notions in the water. And this is what'll get that effect. Just back and forth, just straight across like that. A little more yellow. Just go up there, just put little dabs up and then just drag them back and forth. And that way when you put the, the top color of the water on, it'll be dancing on top of all that green and blue and brown and black and it just gives it a real nice effect. Just drag it back and forth like that. I'm going to start and put the waterfall in. I've got a little yellow and green right in here blended with the blue. So when I put the white on You'll be able to see it. It'll pull right through. If you want a little bit more, just add a little yellow with it. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this in and then I'll zoom in and show you what it looks like. On that close-up you saw a lot of little turbulence there at the end of where, it, of where it comes down. I've got some yellow and green in there and you can see the yellow and green with the water flowing over. Once I get all the water in, we'll let it dry for a day. And then what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll take a liner brush and then go over it one more time. As you see, I'm continuing to put the water in. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my brush with a little bit of that greenish, yellowish color and I continue to blend it with the blue right in here. And then that gives you those nice undertones. And then I created another little waterfall in here. And then I've got, you know, a little splashes in here. So I'm just going to keep going at it until we get it finished. Well that's what we have so far. The next thing we want to do is let all this water area dry for a day or two. Then we'll take some of my white and I'll mix it down with some thinner. And then we'll take a liner brush and put little things all over the water, give a little bit of highlights here and there. And we'll get the water finished. Then I'll go in and maybe we'll work on the rocks a little bit, put a little bit of dark here or there, maybe put a little bit of moss or different leaves here or there, and then maybe I'll have another little 
tree or something in here just to give the painting a little bit more contrast so hang in there we're almost done thanks for watching take care now